All right, what's going on guys? Trey back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on a ton of new awesome pictures we got for The Walking Dead Season 7. And as usual, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out thewalkingdead.com where they have uh, 26 uh, pictures uh, listed there. You can uh, check through all of them. There's some really amazing ones. Uh, and it's listed as some cryptic images for The Walking Dead Season 7. So I uh, wanted to get my thoughts, wanted to uh, you know speculate on what I think uh, is going on in each one. Uh, really, really cool ones for sure. Uh, these are like, they look to be environment. We don't have any uh, character pictures this year, of course, with the uh, cliffhanger and everything. But these are pictures pictures of um, you know the environment it looks like mostly uh, in and around probably the sanctuary the kingdom um even a couple, maybe uh, Alexandria, this this kind of deal. Just some new environments to see. My favorite one for sure has to be this one right here. This is very, very cool. Uh, you can even look on Facebook. They have this one posted, The Walking Dead Facebook. And uh, you've got people discussing, giving their thoughts. What do they think it is? What do they think it means? Um, it's it's pretty cool. It's, it's very reminiscent. I won't get into spoilers for the comic book series of something that happened pretty recently in The Walking Dead comic book series of a certain head on, on uh, you know, a a spike so to speak or on, on a spear uh, this one I don't think that's what they're going for even though the angle and everything looks like a live-action version of that um, you know artwork from Charlie Adler from the comic book series those of you guys who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about those of you who don't that's cool because it's spoilery um, but for me, I think this is different. I think this is actually probably a walker head outside of the sanctuary uh, where they have, of course, their sort of zombie wall where they kind of... And they've even done this already. We saw this in Season 6 with the uh, the group that had captured Carol and Maggie, the, the female-led uh, group there. And they had zombies, you know, kind of uh, trapped uh, near their entrance uh, as an alarm system, which is kind of cool so that they could kind of hear if someone was coming uh, due to the, uh, the com commotion of the zombies and kind of given them an obstacle of something to go through should they be attacked should Negan and the saviors be attacked at the sanctuary uh, you know all these zombies in and around will kind of alert them as to another group coming by uh, you know with the sound and everything and, and the group that's attacking will have to get through them so I think this is kind of a marker or a, a zombie head uh, on uh, on a spike at the uh, at the sanctuary sort of as part of their uh, zombie wall so to speak I think because it is pretty early to see the whispers and if they're showing us this image now it probably means it's the first half of of, uh, of season seven so most likely not the whispers I, I doubt it I don't think we'll see uh, almost anything from the whispers but it's a cool it's still a cool look it's still a cool kind of uh, uh, parallel or, or sort of like um, tie-in trouble so this one to me screams saviors this screams sanctuary um, and I think it may be kind of close to the uh, the other uh, zombie head so to speak so I decided to uh, to put it in with uh, with this one I also think this is a part of the uh, Savior Sanctuary, and uh, they're letting people know that uh, you know if you if you come near, you're yeah, you're you're in for some trouble for sure. This one, some remains could be sanctuary, could be somewhere else totally. You can see there's some kind of sand there, so it almost reminds me in the trailer of that group that goes after uh, Tara and Heath. So we'll see, um, but you know maybe some leftover zombie skin or something. So maybe of some significance, we'll see. This one definitely looks like the sanctuary to me, and it looks super cool. It's kind of like a machine shop type of deal, which is really neat. We saw a Dwight in this in the trailer, it looks like, or an environment just like it. And, uh, man, I'm really liking the look of the sanctuary. It has quite a different feel from anything else, really, we've seen in The Walking Dead up until now. You know, uh, machine shops and uh, buildings like this. It's just a really cool feel, really cool environment, and, uh, you know, I'm really liking these a lot. Really cool fire. So this one makes me think of possibly a flashback sequence maybe with uh, Negan possibly. Uh, we did get to see in Here's Negan sort of the forming of Lucille where he wraps the bat in the barbed wire for the first time. This one for some reason made me think of that uh, which would be really cool to see. Of course it's just fire so it could be anywhere. But for me personally this brings up the Here's Negan forming of Lucille. And I'd love to see some flashback sequences of Negan how he came to power at the sanctuary how it all came. I wouldn't even be upset if they did a whole episode or two episode flashback sequence for uh, Negan and uh, in turn Dwight and kind of how they came to be at that part because of course they're brand new to the TV series and we don't know anything about them. If Morgan got a flashback episode in season six, 
Negan needs a flashback episode. <laughs> if it's season seven or maybe season eight, whenever, it's necessary. Absolutely. This one I'm thinking sanctuary, possible cell. So for somebody that they're holding captive. Um, those of you who are privy to spoilers, you may know who that could be. Uh, I won't get into it here in this video. Those of you who know already know. But um, yeah, I do think that that makes a lot of sense. And uh, it's just uh, really grungy, dark, and uh, dirty. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, that, would be, that would fit perfectly with the environment. It looks, uh, it looks like it to me. It's a trap. It looks like some kind of trap door or something that's wired to, uh, to something. Hmm. Yeah, it could be, could be sanctuary. It could also be some kind of outpost or, or something or something somebody set up. Just really like the look. I like the filter. I like the feel of all these pictures. It just really looks good for a season seven type feel. Um, most likely, this is just probably part of kind of uh, the uh, maybe some kind of holding block, so to speak, where they're uh, they're holding certain people if uh, the savers are <laughs> torturing somebody or doing whatever they're doing, playing games with them. So uh, yeah, man, cool. One of the Savior's trucks, which really reminds me of the comic book series in their first appearance, they kind of roll up in these huge kind of trucks that are just loaded with manpower, just like tons of guys in them in the back, just kind of like, you know, sitting and standing around, getting ready to move for uh, some kind of battle or or just to uh, let people know what uh, what's up. Uh, just so many damn Saviors, they're just a force to be reckoned with, very cool. This one as well does look like the sanctuary to me. It kind of reminds me of a part in the comic book series where uh, Rick gets into an argument with Negan. This does look like it could be kind of, um, you know, the part where Negan is kind of standing out there arguing back at Rick, uh, talking about comparing dick sizes and things like this. Negan is he's pretty fun. He's, <laughs> he's definitely fun, that's for sure. Uh, at least that's what I got from it, the vibe I got. It, it could be anywhere, of course, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, very zombie apocalypse ZA-ish and uh, looks good. Cool. Zombie Apocalypse Dream Catcher, maybe? I'm thinking so. You kind of got like some keys and stuff that uh, look like it's just been found, kind of randomly hung on this sort of light thing. Um, dream catchers are kind of something that you would have, like uh, the natives, they would do. They would create these dream catchers and they believe that they would, uh, you know, help them sleep better and, uh, and uh, help their dreams uh, be more, uh, more positive and, and free of spirits and demons and this kind of deal. Possibly the tip of Ezekiel's sword, which is pretty cool. It's kind of in its sheath there, and he kind of pull it out. Kind of looks like a, a walking stick or a cane too, until he pulls it out of its sheath, which is uh, this is pretty cool. So uh, Ezekiel's a pretty cool character. You know, he's got a tiger. He's got a pretty sweet sword. Uh, him and Michonne, you know, have some similarities with the swords. Possibly some kind of uh, you know friendly duel or something. It'd be fun. It'd be cool. Then we have also most likely from the kingdom, we have the tip of one of their spears, which is really cool. Uh, you know, and I always like that about the kingdom and, you know, every environment in The Walking Dead. I think that Kirkman does a really good job uh, of kind of planning out these different uh, environments and having each of them have their own kind of zombie apocalypse feel. So you have Alexandria, it has its own feel. You have the sanctuary, it has a dark and dank and dead feel, uh, machinistic uh, feel as well. Uh, and then you have the kingdom, which is kind of like something back in time. You know, they ride horses mainly. They don't have many vehicles. They have some, but mostly it's, uh, you know, horses. And uh, similarly with the, the hilltop as well, with, with horses and that. Uh, but with the kingdom, you have uh, kind of them wearing body armor. You have them using swords. You have them using spears. So each environment has a really cool, different feel, has their own feel. And, uh, you know, I've, I've always liked that about The Walking Dead. Growing some produce out of some filing cabinets, that's uh, that's always fun because, of course, they are, they're near a school, right? So in schools, obviously, if you guys remember, <laughs> the damn teachers and their filing cabinets. God damn it. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know, both my parents were teachers, and yes, we had a couple filing cabinets in my basement. Oh my God, <laughs> teachers and their damn filing cabinets. Oh well, at least they're useful for something in the zombie apocalypse. This one I'm thinking also is probably at the kingdom. I mean, it could be it could be somewhere else. It could be Alexandria or something, but it really makes me think of uh, Carol. Um, of course, she and Morgan are going to be at the kingdom this, uh, this season, at least for a little while. And I wonder if the kingdom won't help her kind of uh, reinstill some hope in Carol because... Um, you know, it'll show her that there are other pockets of good people out there. Not everyone out there is trying to kill them. Not everyone out there is evil and bad and brutal, like the Saviors or Woodbury with the governor. There are some good people out there that are a lot like them that are really just trying to do right by everybody and survive. 
And we have some produce growing out of a boot or some kind of shoe, which is fun. Also, we have uh, some baking uh, stuff going on here, some dough maybe. Carol also makes me think of Carol too, possibly baking everybody some ZA cookies. Um, you know, makes me think of Sam is, is kind of sad, but at the same time, uh, kind of cool. So Carol doing what she does best. Well, maybe second best to killing people. Some bloody zombie footprints. Then we have a tree with uh, possibly an arrow pointing people in a direction. Kind of makes me think of the Terra and Heath bit there. And then also we have um, the hatchet. So that's pretty cool. So we haven't seen Rick use the hatchet that much. Uh, I like to see him use it a little bit more in the TV series. He's usually using the, the Colt and everything, which is cool as well too. But the Walking Dead comic book series Rick used the hatchet even more so uh, to kill some zombies and just uh, have some fun. So uh, let's hope we get to see a little bit more uh, of that this season as well too. Looks like some kind of a little uh, lake area with uh, some shrubbery around, some really thick, heavy trees. Does remind me of from the trailer where we see Terra and Heath, so I'm wondering if this one's not from there. And again, just really cool environment shots, very cool. And a couple last ones of Alexandria, so where we consider to be home, I suppose, from our perspective in the zombie apocalypse right now. So a larger world, lots of different communities, lots of different uh, shots, really cool stuff. You guys can write your comments below on what you think. Which ones are your favorite? Uh, mine's got to be the uh, the zombie head, I'm thinking. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this round of picture, guys. If we get some more, of course, we'll do another video, as always, as usual. And uh, if you guys liked it, don't forget to thumb it the hell up. Click the thumb up, guys. I really appreciate it. If you're new and you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom left. And that'll be it for today's Walking Dead video. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for a Q&A. See you guys.